say, PJ. God damn it. You gonna sit here and say, we ready, eh? What the fuck? <laughs> it's your girl. J- <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all probably like, where these hoes been? Because we have been missing for a couple weeks. But we back. It's your girl. Look in the mirror. And today I got Cliff here. What's up? And then, you know, this amazing co-host of mine. <laughs> Can I get some claps? <laughs> Yeah, the fuck? <laughs> Y'all always know what the fuck is good. Okay, Clem, so we normally start off the show by doing a little mental vibe check. Okay. So on the scale of 1 to 10, what's your mental vibe for the week? Um, for like this past week, mm-hmm. it's actually been a 10. I got some really, really good news. Okay. My motherfucking hair not done right now, though, so it's it's a little low. Yeah, I, I get that. You always look good, though, Cliff. Thank you. Always, <laughs> always. I, all, every time I see you, you always look good. Even if your hair not get done, makeup sure. not done, you always look good. Thank you. And that product that you got. The Silk it, Mist. Yes. Yeah. What is it? Silk and Mist. Who? Silkening Mist. Silkening Mist. Yeah. Oh, it's like the, 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 the Like mist. a straighten. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's my accent, but um, it's like a straightening spray. Okay. And then what else you got? Shampoo, conditioner. I might have come out with um flat irons, hot combs. Edge control? I got edge control already. Okay. I got a whole line. Okay, perfect, period. Mm. So my mental vibe <laughs> check for the week, I think I'm at a 10. I ain't going to say a 10. I'm at a 9. Because if I had like 10 mil, I'd be at a 10. Period. <laughs> but I think I am I would say I'm at a 9. I'm real high. You know, things is, things is good, you know. But that little... Uh, 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 he done slid in jazz DM. <laughs> like, that makes it he is in love with you, bitch. <laughs> don't be I'm a, right do not, I'm not, right do not be in, don't be in love with me. I'm dead. <laughs> he gonna see it too, but don't, don't be in love with me. I don't think, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why you don't want to be in love? I do want to be in love, but I've been out of a relationship for like over a year now. Mm-hmm. You did used to be in a relationship. You still post it, right? Girl, child. Y'all was like on YouTube. Girl. <laughs> yeah, I used to see it. <laughs> yes, like that's just crazy, but we're going to get into that too. Oh, okay. Yeah, where you at? Um, today I'm at like a three. My back hurts so bad from this fucking baby. Um. And I have to go pee every five minutes. And I can only drink water. My man out of town. Mm. You just so I'm just it. struggling right now. You're just going through it. But you know, that's the part of the, the process. How far are you? Um, I'm, I just turned six months. Really? You look really good, though. Thanks. Isn't she? Are you glowing? And yeah. I, I, don't want, I don't like saying big because I don't like saying, oh, you big. But isn't she big? I think she little. Like, I mean, but she's naturally little. She naturally little, and that's what got I her so big. I think to my big. friends, y'all just ain't ever seen me like this. Yeah, and I was just saying, like, we, we just did a little challenge, a little candy, mm-hmm. chamori, pickle challenge. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> And I was just saying, like, damn, you big, like, and it's so crazy I'm that big. she's pregnant. I'm I can't put my up. socks on by myself. It really? just be a struggle. Oh, my God. <laughs> we all got to bring food. We, she just can't Every time in. Trip posts up food, I be like, oh, with my plate. Period. Yes. And you know I'm coming always. He go every time. When you do? <laughs> in May. Okay. Yeah. So, I want to get into some things. We're going to get all into, like, relationship mm-hmm. because, you know, I love you and your, your boo. Y'all mm-hmm. are so cute. Thank so you. fucking cute. And it's, like, different. It's, it's different, but it ain't different. Mm-hmm. But it's, like, good to see it successful. Yeah. And last longing. We um, low key. That's what keep y'all going. Well, I don't I don't play with bitches about my boyfriend. And I feel I like right. the problem with gay relationships is like they get with these niggas. The niggas be too friendly. They be having all their friends around them. Like I be having my friends around him, but like it's more of a like Hey, what's up? And that's it. It's more of a like, hey, what's up? That's it. Like, and you know, I like hood niggas. Like, so it's the difference, right? You know, it's like trade and stuff. But like, I have a real like hood nigga. Like my nigga, all his friends are straight. Like, he like to like tote them guns and glocks and stuff. He don't go to gay clubs. Like he don't. Like if I was to ever be like, oh, babe, come with me to traffic. He'll be like, what? I'm not going to no fucking traffic. But like. We're opposite. Like, he's real, like, 
if you, if we have company, I gotta be like, babe, speak to what you call him because he's not really gonna say nothing. So I feel like that's what keep it good for me because right. I don't want no nigga. Me and my friends, oh, we all friendly. yeah, we all talking and he's like sitting and then you know, guys, I don't know. Go on about yeah. today, yeah. you know. So is he younger than you? No, we're the same age. Like same age, exactly. Really, I'm two months older than him, but. He is like the type of guy you could just tell from the outside looking in, like mm-hmm. he be wanting to be low out yeah. from the mix. And I'm going to tell you this, like when we first popped out together, I feel like I did it so wrong. Like every picture I was like tagging him. And like, to be honest with you, like when we first got together, like he wasn't a social media guy. Like he, you know, like a lot of gays be thirsty. Like mm-hmm. they want to be yes. famous. They want followers. He didn't care about that. I kept saying, like, you know, I want to share with the world that, you know, I'm dating. You know, all these guys trying to talk to me. Like, I want to let them know, like, what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So when we posted, I remember a couple blogs posted us and stuff. And, like, some of my fans was, like, sending him naked pictures and, Mm -hmm. like... It was just, like, the thirstiest shit ever. Was it anybody that you knew? Like, friends... Mm-hmm. Associates, no, no but like I feel like it's weird as fuck when like some of my friends definitely not some like one or two of them definitely follow him on Instagram and I feel like that was weird. Yeah, and honestly, I yeah, never. I, fo- like I, I went to yeah. you had tagged you tagged him one time, and I mm-hmm. never. I, went I mean, to his of page. course, like people go and creep. They look, yeah. you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. That's what anybody do. But like, and then it be like. Like, I got one. I wouldn't even call this person a friend because we literally just fell out. But they're, like, an industry type of person. Like, they're a gay rapper. And it's, like, every time... And mind you, I got the nigga Instagram on my phone. Every time a nigga upload, he the first one to look at this story. Every time a nigga upload a picture, he the first bitch to like it. He but won't show me in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But my man wouldn't even look. Damn. Yeah. That's And you know what? Like... I'm trying to think and really strategize on my next move with my next person because yeah. I feel like I don't want them to be like that. Yeah. But then again, it's like, I feel like a lot of them would not understand my type of lifestyle. Yeah. Like the person that slid in your DM, it was like, he, he get it, mm-hmm. but he, he's so scared. Like he, like, I wish the fuck y'all would DM my motherfucking man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would never, <laughs> unless unless he like DM me and you know we doing some shit like yeah. I thought it was but, like, but then again, it's like, like you didn't know. I didn't think you knew that man. That's why I was being funny. Like, look, true. <laughs> I'm <don't care. laughs> He do it all the time. Every time I post, true. He be like, I love him. Yeah, really? but but I feel like that's different because she a girl. It's different for the girls. Yeah, but like, like, I wouldn't be mad if like one of my girlfriends follow him yeah because you know that he yeah it's, it's just different but you know to be honest and to keep it a buck like gays can be very shysty very but the thing very. is i don't even if like i don't all my friends could follow like me with the chair y'all i know i was that big sorry i'm dead all my friends could follow like i'm that confident that like i know for a fact like he's not gonna like nudge Period. No, I feel like I don't want to say don't be like that. No, don't you have just to never be like say that. Never. You never, no, you no, never I never say something because because my man too. I always say that like no, I I don't say never because I'm telling you like I have been like with the person that we mm-hmm. were just talking about. It's like oh wow, like and well, it's somebody this is that, why I say it right. If it ever happened, and I'm not saying it's like any. I'm just, like, keeping it real. I feel like if it ever happened, then kudos. Like, you know, go ahead. Because now I'm about to up the score even more. A period. You get period. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I feel like when you date somebody, like, and you're in the industry, it goes up. Right. So right. now I feel like I got to, like, do my big one. And now mm-hmm. I got to fuck with somebody mm-hmm. really in the industry. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. So to me, it's like, yeah... Never say never. But with really but in the back of your head. head. If it happened, it happened. We're young. You. Yeah. We young. You know what I'm saying? We're young. Shit do happen. But at the end of the day, from the last four years we've been together, 
it never happened, and I don't think it ever happened. But if it did, okay, go ahead and be somebody else's problem then. Yeah, yeah. And then you are like an alpha male. What's that? Like you are dominant. more like dominant. You think so? Yes, I can I see it. I don't think so. I you talking about with me and him? Yes. Well, I like how he plays the back and he let me play the front. That's what I said. Like a lot of gays be trying to be like in the limelight. He don't like he lets me do me. You get so what was saying? he gay before y'all got together? So I don't date DL men. Like when we first, Ooh, me either. yeah, when when yes, we first, yeah, when we first started, I talking, do not like DLs. I don't like DL and I don't like because it's nothing. It, like okay, you can't go nowhere with them. Yeah, but it, all it is is like really y'all just going. Fuck. Yeah, and that's it. Like it's they don't really like like they lack emotion. They don't understand. They're not gonna ever want to come out with you. Take you to a basketball game. Take you shot. It's not gonna be none of that. But um, I mean, I have dealt with DL guys in the past. Yeah, unfortunately. Like you know, like transactions because it's a fan. It's a fantasy also for them. Yeah, but him, he did lie to me. He told me he wasn't DL, and I feel like he was. Yeah. I feel like if your mom don't know, yeah, you know. So now, how is it with the mom? I just met his mom. Really? Like in February. Oh. But he, his mom is like Caribbean, so you know, Carib- Caribbean people are like a little bit, um, they're like a little bit more like they don't like that. But like it was the complete opposite of what we thought. Like mm. she loves me, I love her. Like we have a good relationship. Like she be like, how did my son right. start dating someone like you? Like, yeah, you know. So yeah, hey, let's be real. When you're, cause me and Santana was just talking about this. When you are like an entrepreneur and you're in the limelight and you make a lot of money, right? It's sometimes in the gay world, it's really hard for like me to date a guy who really makes more money than me. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. So in a relationship, yes, I make more money, but I don't date men. Date. I don't date men for what they have. As long as you can hold your end of the stick, as long as when the bills need to be paid, you can pay them. And when I want something, you can buy it. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if I if I go home right now and be like, <laughs> um, I want a new Chanel bag or something, right? He gonna get it. And if he don't have it to get it, he gonna make a way to get it. Right. right? But we all know I can go and buy. All right. my own Chanel bags. Right. You know, I have a business, you know. So I love the fact that he can hold his own bargain. Mm-hmm. And um, that's what turns me on the most. Now, I had a guy before him. I don't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah, and I, that's why I'm at with, like, with the guy that I'm dealing with. It's like, he's like a country boy. He's just now, like, getting into, like, somebody like me. Mm-hmm. To where it's like, dang, this is all new. Yeah. Like, I ain't never, like, I'm telling him, like, oh, my credit card bill is this. Mm-hmm. Credit card bills are is this. Mm-hmm. This is my rent amount. I needed tires on my car. He got the tires. Like, my tires is like $2,500. Yeah. I, um, and things like that. So it's like, it's like a shock to him because tires for, you know, other cars is yeah. like $20. fifty dollars yeah. a piece. You will get a set for $200. So yeah. it it's just like ooh, it's that life, you know. But now it's like he don't want to, he don't want to feel like a trick. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling him like, oh well, this ain't that. Like if you not, you know, because I could really do it on my own. Like yeah. I I I've done it plenty of times. Like you know, I could yeah. do it on my own. So it's like if you're not coming like this, I don't know where we're gonna go. And I don't want to get into a situation where it's like. Later on, I found out that you can't do. Yeah. And it's not that it's for the money, but it's like, this is just where I'm at in life. Mm-hmm. And this is what I'm not going to take and not deal with. That's what I dealt with with him in the beginning. I felt like, because, okay, I was in a relationship with like a bum nigga, right? Mm-hmm. And then I was single for like eight months, right? In the midst of me being single, I was messing with an industry guy. He was DL, right? Messing with him. He brought me my first ever Birkin bag, right? Like, you couldn't tell. I didn't even know what a Birkin bag was. So I'm going to be real. Like, I didn't know. I heard it, but I, I, you know, I was, you know, everybody psyched about it. I wasn't. Right. Brought me my first Birkin bag, right? I felt like a filthy animal. 
Mm-hmm. Because I found out that he had like a wife and he had kids. And I'm like, wait, what, what, what you know, what's going on? So I remember like, you know, I stopped talking to him. And when I started talking, you know, to my boyfriend, I had this mindset, like this city girl. And I have to remember, I'm not a girl. So I had this He's mindset, like, like you know, like, oh, you going to buy me this and you going to buy me that. And he was doing it. But I had to be realistic and be like, come on, like, because mm-hmm. even now, like, he like, he be like, why do we live in a house and the rent is 6000 Like, why do, why do you have to live like that? Like, we yeah, could live luxury and, and it could be 2200 and I'd be like, that's not how I want to live. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? But I get what you're saying when you're like, you know, you don't want to date a guy and they, they feel like... You know, like, they, like, emptying out their account to try to, like, impress you, like, no. Yeah, and I had to tell them, too, like, you know, just a fair warning, like, when I go out to eat, I may get, like, six different things off the menu. The tab may come back, and it's, like, four, five, six hundred dollars. Don't, I don't want to, like, get you to that point. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Like, let's go, let's go, like, let's go. And it's like, okay, let's go. Mm. And then I don't want to be doing it. And then it's like, now you down to zero. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And I don't want to introduce you to that lifestyle. Keep doing what you're doing. If you and your people are good at Applebee's, that's cool. And I have no problem with it because I love me Longhorn. I love me Applebee's. Mm-hmm. We just had Applebee's. So do you. I like that, but it's like every now and then. And when I feel like eating there, yeah. it's not like an everyday thing. And I love to cook. Yeah. So we could be cooking at home. Like we could be doing that. But I just want to let you know, like this may come up. Like I may want to go to Aruba and just have lunch and then yeah. fly right back. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it got to be. And if you can't deal with it, don't tap into it. Yeah. You know? But anywho, y'all be doing like threesomes? Fuck no. You never been into you no, ever had a threesome? I'm not into that type of shit. No, hell no. What is like the wildest thing that y'all done together? Um, when we first got together, you know, like I feel like when you first start dating somebody, like, and you really like you're just in love with them. Like, I remember one time I was trying to get him to pee on. <laughs> Y'all like that? No, look, I don't know what was going through my head. We was in the shower and I was like, pee on me. And he was looking at me like, no, I'm not peeing on you. And I kept, I'm like, pee on me, pee on me. He would not do it. But like, I think that was like the freakiest thing. Another thing we did was I was getting ready to go get surgery in um, Columbia. And it was my first time ever using a popper. Oh my god! And we was in the shower. We love to do some shower shit. And um, I took the popper, and I think I was like extremely high. So he like sitting down on the thing. So I'm great. You know, sit down. I don't know if I sat down too fast or what, but when I sat down, that shit hurt it, and I jumped up and I like slipped and like bust my eye open on a glass. Like you know how like mm. glass showers, mm-hmm. like it might be the wind. Mm-hmm. I bust my eye like, and I had a black eye for like two months. This is when we first got together. Ooh. Like everybody was just like, "Oh, is he hitting you?" I'm like, "No." I'm so they they don't know. Like mm-hmm. I I be fighting. Oh, bitch! I know. How you know? I've seen it in a close friend. Oh yeah. Yeah. But um. <laughs> Other than that, like, <laughs> you know, other than that, it's true. I'm you dead. always know people motherfucking sex I life. I said back. No, not sex life, but just like life. I could, I really could read a lot <laughs> by a person's Instagram. Like, I be telling people, like, if you get to know somebody just from like social media, you could really analyze like mm-hmm. who they are. Yeah. And even if you know somebody like past, like, even like your boo past relationships, you'll begin to like learn how they are. And it's not like being nosy, like, oh, who you used to talk to? But it's like, you could read a lot by somebody's past Mm -hmm. or by social media, but don't analyze it in a way that you judging them upon like just what you see. But yeah, I do that. And Mm -hmm. like that, I seen like, you are, yeah. You 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 love to fight. I don't love to fight. Your friend, Mari, Marla. Yeah, y'all always fighting. Are you talking about Vaughn? The light skin boy? Yeah. Yeah, him. We play. We I like the but play. But like, yeah, play fight. But I will say this. And then, ooh, and then a girl that came to your house. Yeah, but I thought that was a guy, and I felt really bad after that. Oh, it wasn't a guy? No, it was a girl. So you said it was a girl. Uh, you know, trans, you know, they be like doped out, you know, on drugs and shit. No. Um, well, you know, back in the day, like before I really became like Cliff, 
Well, I always was clear, but before I like got a following and stuff, like all of my friends, I swear to God, they used to all call me like when they were, you know, about to get beat up or like, and I would be with the shit. Like I would be like, all right, bitch, don't, don't move. Don't get out the car. I'm on my way. Like I always was into that. Like, and honestly, that's like, I love hood shit and I like shit like that. Like, but I'm not jazz, into that no more. I'm not into it. But if you ever are into that, if you, I feel like if any of my people, it's, it's like, easy I'm to bring come, it back. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's it's nothing like you know. Yeah, that's just like I feel like if it's a part of you, it's a part of you. You had your own show on BET. Mm-hmm. Was it BET or BET Plus? BET. BET just before BET Plus. Oh, okay, so I remember you had the girl with you. Is that your sister? Mm-mm. My um old best friend Jade. Oh, that was your best friend. Why you say old? Oh. We are not friends no more. Really? Mm-hmm. What happened? <laughs> um, Look at you. What yeah, happened? I want to see. So I'm gonna be real. I don't really know like the real, like real well, I know the reason, but like the reason behind it is like like okay, imagine like somebody like lying on you and you never being able to like explain or like back up what's going on. You get what I'm saying? So she was lying on you or you were lying on her? No. So, okay, when we became, we were, we were, we've been friends since sixth grade, right? Now, that was my road dog. Like, mm-hmm. we had plans, like, before we became who, who we were, because she's an influencer now. Mm-hmm. We used to say, like, oh, we're going to go to college, and we're going to move to Atlanta. We're going to go to college for mass communications, and we're going to be walking down red carpets interviewing people. Like, that was our thing, right? When we graduated high school, we had fell out. Then three years later, we became back cool. When we became back cool, I was now Cliff Vermeer, but I was dressed in like a girl. I was like, it was like new to her, right? So, cool. But I still, like, even though I dress like a girl, like, I don't walk around like, I'm not like feminine, if that makes any sense. Like, this is how I act, like, Mm -hmm. all day. So we would have fun and stuff, right? But you know how it is, like, when you are, um, like, I, I was up. Like, I had money and stuff, right? So, her being my friend, anytime she wanted, she got. Like, anytime, like, I was doing our hair, buying us hair and stuff every single week, right? Just because that was my best friend. You get what I'm saying? And I look at my friends as family. So, let's just say, like, one of my friends was going through, like, a relationship situation, right? I told him, I'm like, you know, Jade was going through this, this, and this. And look how she was able to bounce out of it. Mm. So what he do? He went to her one day when we got into an argument. And he was like, yeah, Cliff, he's talking about you. And Cliff, he tried to, like, flip it. And were y'all all three friends? No, she was my friend. But everybody was so amazed on our <laughs> friendship, right? So we had went to um the BET Awards. I took her down a carpet with me. And the reason why the friend was mad is because I didn't take him down a carpet. So we were so I had a booking in um in New York after we went to the BET Awards and they flew on a plane together. While they was on a plane together, he was being messy. He was being messy. So once we got back to Atlanta, because when we was in New York, like me and her used to argue like brothers and sisters. Once we got back to Atlanta, um, I had hit her up and it was just like weird. And then like weeks went past and I'm like, okay, so what's up? And she told me like, Hey, you know, I'm just done with the friendship. Somebody told me that, you know, like you was belittling me and you told them that you made me. And like, you said I was ungrateful. Now let me be real. I'm the type of friend. If you getting on my nerves, are you being, I'm going to tell you, like, I'm going to be like, bitch, you getting the fuck on my nerves and you really, you're like ungrateful. Like, I'm going to tell you. So if you telling me that somebody told you something I already told you, like, mm-hmm. I don't feel like that's like talking about you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, I told but, it to you. Yeah. But but you got to understand, too, when a person, and I'm going I'm to play David's advocate, whatever, however you say that, mm-hmm. um, when a person get it from somebody else, and that's why I asked you where y'all all three friends. Because mm-hmm. if she got that news from somebody else that y'all all three weren't friends with, mm-hmm. then it will feel she can now feel like, oh, you being messy. But if it's like me, Jazz, and PJ, it's like 
we can't get mad at what we tell each other, even right. if me and her not telling, you but know. It's, it's, so it's like a little different because like we would have everybody around us, right? And like everybody would see like damn Cliff, like Cliff done paid for his friend body. Like he he just does it all for her, right? And then they would see us argue, right? They would come to me and be like, she's ungrateful, right? And I'll be like, I know I'll be telling her all the time. It, it, it'd be something like that. Like, it would never be like, I you would never. You paid for her body? Mm-hmm. But, oh, baby, at, but you a good friend. This the thing, though. Like, I feel like I owed her that only because when we stopped talking the first time in high school, that was like something completely different. But I, I felt like, like I, and I'm not saying it like to bring it up. I'm just showing you the extent on how much I loved her and mm-hmm. how much like, you that was anything. my dog. Yeah. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, and then I know for you too, it's like, Regardless of the fact, it's like when it's your friend, it's like you, my friend, it's it's kind of like a selfish thing that we have in our mind because I feel like, bitch, you, my friend, I could tell you about yourself. You could tell me about your, yourself, myself, vice versa, whatever it is. And yeah. then if me and Wit having a conversation, it's not that we being messy about anything, but it's like we done told the same thing to you. Mm-hmm. So you can't take it any kind of way about if we are just keeping it real or anything like that, yeah. but it's it's sometimes slightly jazz. If that was to happen between us, me, you, and Wit, you may feel a way. Like you're going to feel a way, most definitely. But it's no malicious intent behind it because we all friends at the end of the day. I've been told you the same thing before. Yeah. And you look out for me, I look out for you for you. I scratch your back, you scratch mm-hmm. my back. So I understand. And, Maybe y'all haven't tried to have a conversation. Well, no, this is the biggest thing, right? So when she told me that or whatever, right? I'm like, like, I'm trying to tell you, like, this was like in 2019. I have like tried to reach out to her because I feel like this, right? Okay, we we stopped being friends. That's one thing. But I feel like at least like she don't even know. Like, all she thinks is like I was talking about her behind her back and I said she yeah, was that's ungrateful. Pretty. Oh, and a person said, um, yeah, and Cliff said he made you. I don't talk like that. Like, I, I don't, how can I make somebody? Like, now, what people see on the outside is what they see. Whatever they assume, if they feel as though, because I'm always posting you and people are following you, that's one thing. But, like, I feel like I never really got the chance to, like, tell her. Like, if she was to know how I'm telling you, she probably would be like, oh, shit. Like, you get what I'm saying? Hopefully she watched. I remember, like, when I started selling the vendors, I'm like, do a cosmetic vendor list. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because so, I remember you promoting her. Um, Like, she had, I don't know if it was a book or whatever. She was she was doing, like, lip gloss and shit. And, yeah. yeah. So I remember you actually pushing that. And, I, and this is ago. just how I feel. I've, I've been like this my whole life, ever since I've been Cliff. If you're in position to help your real friends, like I'm talking real friends, like not a bitch who you just start being friends with and you don't know their intentions. Like I'm talking, I, when, when my dad left my life, I literally, and my mom, we lost our home. I lived with her, like being in high school, you get what I'm, you you know? Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's like my real friend. So if you're in position to help your real friend and that's your dog, then do it. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? I feel and that's like that, what I was that doing. friendship could come back around. I feel like I don't. If, let me tell you. I reached out to her because you know she's she's had a baby. Mm-hmm. I reached out to her 2019, 2020 when I found out she got pregnant. I reached out to her. I think like last year, and every time I reach out to her, she just kind of reads the message, or she'll be like, you know, I'm good. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you know I don't reach out to people. I don't. I don't keep trying to like reach out, but I really do. Like, you know, when you love somebody and you, you have a love for them, I just, I feel like it's crazy how like a person could like be so like jealous. Like a lot of people will be jealous. Mm-hmm. Like they'll be like, damn, I wish I had a friend like, you know, mm-hmm. a friendship like y'all, you know? Yeah. And I, I think like uh, also like with friend groups, you will have that person that's not in your group, that's but that's around. They'll try to dim down somebody else's light and throw yeah. thought on somebody else to try to get that position. But then once they figure out that they cannot get that position, yeah, they'll go that route of trying to break up what the fuck y'all got going on. Yeah. And being that that person was able to do that, it just shows you and not saying that the, your friend was a bad person, but it's like you're not even supposed to like let this 
anybody come between or what even the fuck if we you did want to like agree with whatever they were saying, at least I feel like me and you could have had a conversation, conversation and I could have told you, you what was going on because a person like me and a person was having a conversation. Like as far as her, te- as far as her telling me that the person said I told her business, right? It was never a like, okay. This is her business. I'm going to tell you, you know, but I mean, I don't know. Hopefully she watches this. Like, you know, I used to be very like stuck in my ways and very arrogant and like just not giving a fuck. But like, you know, I'm 26 now, you know, hopefully she sees it, you know, but I will say this. People were sending me videos of her on YouTube. Like, I don't know if she was shading me a little bit. Like, I guess because she was upset about it, you know, and I don't appreciate the whole YouTube thing. This is my first time ever speaking on it. Like, if you go on TikTok and you type in Cliff and Jade, the whole TikTok is excellent. Like, what happened, you know, mm. with them? So, this is the first time I'm addressing it. You know, hopefully we can. I hope so. And even, like, do y'all have, like, somebody that will mediate? Like, be able to, like, okay, you be quiet and then you start and then. Do you have like um if I don't not, know. I feel like that's what y'all would need. And I think um maybe we could bring her on the show. And we could we could all sit here at the table and have a discussion. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like we are wanting to like mend relationships and get everybody's point of view and not just say like, okay, you're crazy because you was a fake ass bitch to yeah. your friend. No, like let's get her point of view. And I want her and, if she can, I want her to bring the person. Like who said it? Said it, cause I'm on with my motherfucking round. Yeah, and, and 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 then gets their point of view. But a lot of times, people are not real. They like, not, cause let me tell you, I don't. Still to this day, I don't know exactly. <laughs> I, I have an idea of it's it's three people, and all three of the people I was flying all of them on the plane. I called all of them. I was like, yo, um. You know, did any of y'all tell Jade something? Because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. No, sis. Uh, uh. All of them told me no. Mm. All of them told me no. Are you still cool with all of them? Any of them? I'm you cool with one those. of them, but, like, I know he didn't say it. And that's that's Vaughn, the light-skinned one. Okay. I know Vaughn did, like, Vaughn don't. I don't like this is the thing. I, I I know who it is. Like I don't have a best friend now. That's fucked up. Yeah. So that's crazy. Yeah. So speaking about bodies, what all have you done to your body? I've done a lot. I ain't even gonna lie. I did my I think we all done at this table we done did the same thing, but go Yeah, ahead. that I did my nose. Um So what you did to your nose? <laughs> <laughs> so I had got um when me and my best friend went and got our bodies done, I had got rhinoplasty, right? And it was like the most random shit ever. I got out there and I was just like, I was supposed to get lipo and stuff. I'm like, I want to get my nose done. When I got off the table, the doctor said that I was waking up from anesthesia and I just would not stop rubbing my nose. I broke my nose on the table. So it affected the way I breathed. And like for like three years straight, my nose was crooked. I went, when did I go? I went with Shy. We went to Turkey and I got it like. Oh my God. When I got my hair transplant, I was going to get a I think you was out there. You was out there too? When I was out there? Yeah, I was going to get my nose done. But I was like, I talked to Sexy. He's like. Do not get off that. You're going to get off that table and look like so-and-so. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Oh my. You know, and that, you know, you always got to have that friend and be like, do not do it. Yeah. Don't do it. I don't think you but need your I nose still, done at all. I wish I never touched my nose. But, I mean, it's, it's good now. Would you get it redone? Like, okay. Or you like your nose now? I like it now. I just think it's like, I never really had a pointy nose. So, nose job. You did lipo? Lipo. I did lipo like, oh, like five times. But five more, times when lipo? I was big, because I used but to like. But you wasn't that old, you I used to big. be big as fuck, 254 big. pounds. And I always would think like, damn, if I get lipo, I'm going to be like. And then I'm like, I would get the lipo and be like, well, what the fuck they did? So you was getting um, transfers? No, I like the first time I got lipo, I got a BBL 
twice. The first time it was just hips. Second time it was fat, but like my natural butt was big already. So it was just like that's what we all say. No, it was. I got pictures. <laughs> It was. Really? It really was. I swear to God. I, I got pictures and everything. Um, when I got the BBL, I ain't gonna lie, my ass looked like ridiculous. It was like Did you get huge. something taken out? No, when I got the sleeve. Oh, okay. It like deflated. But I think in the shots did too. I think, yeah, I think that's I think that's like I'm glad they do like with But where do they go? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know where they go, but I'm glad they I do think go. I'm shitting them out. <laughs> you feel really? I think I was. Cause where the fuck they gonna go? You said shit it out. Yeah. But I feel like I'm glad mine do. Cause I go like ever so often <laughs> to just you know get a you refill. Know? Yeah. I, was, I want to, but I feel like my butt looks like good. So you might want. I want hit. We going I. That's I cannot. Want? Yes. You feel like it don't stick or something? It don't. Yeah. Why the fuck that be happening? And then the hips is the most painful part. Ooh. The last time I went, my ooh that ooh, it's like the <laughs> most painful part. And it's like okay, I I don't even want no more. No, I be like like poke me up, bitch. Get me right. You be you be feeling all right? Yeah, cause of what they give me. Well, yeah. You know I. I passed out. Really? Mm-hmm. Are you just dramatic as fuck? No, I I was high as a Baby, bitch. I passed the fuck out. I swear to God. Like, I woke up, yeah. and I had... I went Wait, you were asleep? Mm-hmm. Why? I was high. I was like, uh-uh, give me another one. I swear to God. And I did it. it I I paid for... It was me and Ooh. one of my other friends. I paid for both of us to get done. Mm. Um, cause she was feeling like you know a little down or whatever. So I'm like, okay, let's do this. You gonna do, you know, you know how you you do with your friend. Mm-hmm. But um, she loved it. Like she she good. But I'm like, uh, uh-uh, I want to go. And you see how you said your friend was down. Mm-hmm. That's all I did. Like when me and her became back friends, I felt like from us, you know, splitting ways after high school and then us joining back. She was like, damn, like you're here and I'm like still kind of like the girl next door so I wanted to get her body done just so she could feel good and like she's in Atlanta like you know everybody out here snatched big you know small waist big butt but yeah I know we off that but yeah yeah Yeah. that that makes sense though because you know especially when we got shit we got no money to do like I wanted her to talk to like rappers and shit like I mean her boyfriend you know but I'm you know yeah, oh before God. everything. Before Can I see who this person is? Pull mm-hmm. up her Instagram. Did she block you? Mm-mm. Okay. But I'm going to tell you the name. It's Shaded by Jade. You only got to tell me once. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, would you do reality TV again? I would. I actually got something coming up. Really? Mm-hmm. Is it on Zeus? No. Not a TV? No. Oh, on the mainstreams. On the network. On the mainstream, yeah. Period. Is it your own show again? Um, no, it's not my own show again, but it's something close. That's good. Yeah. I love that for you. It's with like, you know, other um influencers. Influencers and people. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I like even your show, it was like so intriguing and it was like good to see somebody it was positive yes yeah. that's really like out there doing it i really don't know what happened with that because you know i got locked in with that show with seven seasons and it just seemed like once bet got brought i think yeah i think a lot of the things with bet it was like after they got the bet plus mm-hmm. that they said fuck me. yeah like what the fuck yeah that was you gotta up. read you gotta read up from BET Plus to do your own thing. Yeah. Yeah. But that that makes sense. So, off of, like, okay, so you moved to Houston. Were you going to do um, Bad Boys Club? So, it is the thing with Bad Boys, right? Um, I was under the impression that I was going to do Bad Boys. Like, I had conversations with Natalie and DM after auditions and she just kept hitting me like you know you ready for bad boys and it's almost here you know when somebody's telling you that isn't that pretty much telling you yeah you, you gotta assume position mm-hmm. and yeah. be ready so I remember like when they were doing their cast and um, Natalie had hit me up 
And she was like, hey, Cliff. And I was like, hey. But by this time, I'm kind of like, I, I'm going to be real. I was just like, bitch, I don't even know if I want to do that shit. Them bitches be on there fighting. Mm-hmm. And I felt like it's one thing to be like that in real life when you have to. But like when you go on camera and you fight and that's, that shit stick with you. Mm-hmm. You can't go to no mainstream shit or nothing. So she hit me up and was like, hey, Cliff. I was like, hey, Natalie, what's up? She was like, I have a question. Don't get offended. And I'm like, okay, what's up? Pretty much she was trying to ask me, like, was I trans? And I'm like, no, I'm not trans. I'm gay. Like, I feel like trans is like when you take hormones and you like trying to get the breath. I'm like, no, I'm just gay. She was like, do you ever take your wigs off and like, you know, wear like your hair, like how gutters is? And I was like, no, I always wear wigs. And she was like, um, okay. And to me, I was just like, why the fuck she asking me that? Right. What the mm. fuck? I got to do yeah. anything. So I remember like after that, it was just kind of like a, fighting. What the, what do that got to do with anything? Because you know, when, uh, well, that wasn't, that wasn't, um, Zeus, but. That that's probably uh, a reasoning, but um. So after that, I remember she just kept asking me like, "Who's your celebrity arch enemy?" And I'm like, "I don't have one." She was like, "If you had to name one, I'm like, I don't have one." And I remember like, I don't know if I wasn't giving her the energy she wanted. Now, if this would have been after the auditions, I would have gave her like I would have been messy i would have been doing all of that but like i had just moved back to Atlanta. i was only in houston for like five months i couldn't do it yeah Mm. like it it was dry as fuck like would you have brought would you do a tv show with your boyfriend Mm -hmm. he won't be on but i'm oh really yeah but he's not like a tv guy like I be like arguing with him because I feel like like why are you being so stiff in front of these cameras? Like we try to do the YouTube. So y'all already filming? No, we getting ready to. Okay. But other stuff we have done, like YouTube mm-hmm. or like we had did some stuff with now that's TV, but I don't think they're dropping it. It was like me and other people around Atlanta. And we filmed and like he was just like super like nervous, you know. But I like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, don't take him out of that. Yeah. So you don't moan? No. You that still have... That scares me when people say that. Really? Yeah. Like Do one you... time, let me tell you, I thought New York was trying to shave me. New York, Tiffany Pollard. Mm-hmm. I was on live. I was probably like 20. And I did her hair when I was like 15. So I was like, you know, mohawk and all that. I was on live and she was like, are you moaning? I'm like, what is that? <laughs> like, bitch. <laughs> So would you consider yourself just a cross dresser? Yeah, because if I was to take my wig off, like go cut my hair off. Wait, and wait, stuff. wait, 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 wait. What's moaning? Because I thought you were saying like hormones. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, I, I was over thinking here like, like the, true. Uh, like, I was yeah. over here like true. Why the fuck would you ask that right I'm now? Good. Okay. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's like it's a a gay lingo, but yeah, okay. it's like. A guy taking hormones. hormones. To no, be yeah, more, I get it. To like now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you are very soft. I don't see a masculine Really? Yes. Well, I don't know. Like I you, you cannot go you can't go on a basketball court, bitch. Why you can't can I? you can't go down a football field. Yes, I can. You probably could <laughs> athletically, but playing football, no, Cliff. No. Well, no, I don't mind. You look like you moan, but I that's that's God. a good. Would what, you get what, a face what? face film? Have you gotten that? No, really? Mm-hmm. Oh wow, this just give me like very polished. Really, mm-hmm. it's a good thing though. I will say though, not all, but some trans they be trying me like they don't because you cross dress and not transition. Yeah, or like like I will say like seventy five percent of the trans they love me and i love them like it's it's always all love i think akasha is like really really funny like she's like naturally just funny like and mad hoes mad hoes i like that song (laughs) yeah would you do akasha i feel like is like my favorite trans really yeah i love akasha you and andre how are y'all me and andre we're cool um i love let me tell you about andre 
we haven't spoken in like some time. I don't know why we haven't really spoken. Um, I know Andre was going through some stuff. Um, and with me just being as busy as I can be, like I'm the type of friend, like if you call me and you be like, yo, such and such just happened, I'm going to be like, all right, bitch, I'm about to come over and we about to figure it out. But if you're going through things and you're pushing me away and you're like, no, it's okay, it's okay. But then you're like mad at me because I'm not constantly checking on you. It's kind of hard for me. And I feel like Andre is kind of like just a little upset with me because Andre is a type of friend. Like he's a really, really good friend. Like Andre will text you five times a week and be like, just checking on you. You good. But like me, I don't really, and I'm not making an excuse, but I don't really be having like a lot of free time. So it's like when I be hitting Andre up, you know, I might have like a little bit of time to like go get a drink or like, you know, let's go get some food or like, you know, like it's been times Andre might have came to me and said like, bitch, I'm thinking about moving back to New York. And I'll be like, no, you know, let's let's stick it out. Like, you know, we can go look at sweets. We can go what you want to do. And Andre might oversleep and not show up, you know, mm-hmm. so my time is limited. So it's like like every day when I wake up. I'm shipping orders. Like, up at least, I, I get up and start shipping orders at 10. I'm shipping orders till at least, like, 2 o'clock. I cook every day mm-hmm. for my boyfriend. Me too. Once I cook, I'm, I'm like, tired. And I'm mm-hmm. going to do a whole, like, surrogacy thing so we can have a baby. Oh, really? Yes. What what um company you know the company? I don't know yet. I'm going to start doing it on the thing. Me and, um oh, really? Yeah. Like when they going to show mm-hmm. it. So this guy I was talking to, we was we were going through the we was going to go through the whole process. It was mm-hmm. like ninety five thousand dollars. Like you got to put up you have to put up thirty five thousand because mm-hmm. you got to pay for the um doctors, you got to pay for all the doctors appointments. You have to pay for um like food Medicare. You got to pay for everything like every like all the whole surgery. Well, surgery. Yeah, the baby, all of that. You have to pay for all that, and then you got to pay their fee. Was y'all doing well. IVF? Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, like, yeah, I want a girl. Oh my god, that yeah. is so cute! Yeah. And we, we I trying wanted to get to do it started it. by April. I was wanting to do it, and the person I, I was doing it with, he's like set. Like when I tell you set, mm-hmm. like big, big, big hairstylist. I'm talking about big. I know the person. You probably do know them, like big. I'm talking about Oprah, Solange, Beyonce, and did like big people. Big people, but anywho, oh, okay. um, <laughs> he was he started like giving me like, like tricking off, like I'm tricking off on you, like you know what I want, so you doing things around knowing what I want, and you know you barely in town, so it's like oh come here, come here, yeah. like we was my knee had broke, we were supposed to go to the Beyonce concert, mm. and then you like oh come um. Come here, like he sent me like the whole thing, paid for the tickets, everything. We have floor floor seats to Beyonce, all okay. of that, and I just like literally dissed him because it's like, don't make me feel like a trick. And this is what I was going through with the the guy that was in your DM. Like, I'm not no trick, mm-hmm. but treat me like a trick, but don't make it so obvious like you tricking off, like you're like blatantly doing shit, knowing like it's gonna make me feel like a way, right? And I felt like I didn't want to go through that whole process by myself because mm-hmm. it's like you are barely here. Like he got a, a townhouse here, everything. Like, but he also stays in two other locations as well. But it was just like no, you don't, you wouldn't do it by yourself. I don't want to. I do want to do it by myself, but I don't want to be selfish. And I was exp- that's what I was explaining it to him. Like I don't want to be selfish. Like and just doing it by myself and like knowing that this child has a father. Another so you don't mind. No, I'm a <laughs> So let me ask you this. What you this is what I'm like struggling with. So first of all, I'm trying to just get my stuff together. Like I'm trying to clear my schedule out. I'm trying to move my mom out here and stuff. So because I'm gonna be real, when a baby is like zero to three months, I like I have sisters who had babies. I don't fool with no baby while they that little because I don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know how to rub the head. I don't, you know. So I want to move my mom to Atlanta so she can do all of that. And then once the baby is at least able to crawl, that's when I feel like I can. Yeah, and I was thinking about going through a, an adoption process 
mm-hmm. to like already having a baby because I was thinking of like I don't want to do the potty training. I don't want to do the crawling to walking stage. You don't want to do that. And I want you to be able to say yes and no. What? But it's not a dog. He want a dog. But I, it, I felt like I would do the experience with somebody. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to do it by yourself. I don't want to do it by myself. Like if I have to do it by myself, I will go just adopt. But if I'm doing it with somebody, I would want to do the surrogacy IVF. Like it's going to be our baby. Like we was going through the whole so thing. So like, whose sperm was y'all going to use? His, because we okay. So we went through. Um, like we were like dead ass serious about it. We had no, to get we, a lawyer I'm, and everything. Really? Yes. But okay, so like I, that's a part of the payment too. But I thought the the places that you go through, I thought they do all of that. Yeah, they do. But like it's with like the paperwork, still, lawyer, all of that. You do, but it's it's some places that's cheaper to where you could go around that mm-hmm. because it's like okay, it's ninety five thousand altogether if you are wanting them to just do everything, mm-hmm. but it's like different programs and different stages to where you could pay for this stage if you already have your person that you want to have a child with. So yeah. say if I wanted to have a child with Jazz mm-hmm. and she was willing to do it, we'll all sit down with a lawyer, mediation. We was even wanting to house home the surrogate really but they were saying that that's not a good thing to do like you don't want your surrogate to stay with you you want her to be comfortable in yeah because they just start getting weird yeah but i was she we were had thinking that like baby differently. and we're like this is my baby and <laughs> yeah but that's why you got the lawyer that's why you pay for the lawyer they that's why you can about it well if we had to go that route i think it would have went a little different but i was yeah. telling my um assistant mari because he was like what you would do if like you know, y'all had a surrogate and like, cause it's been, you got to look up the stories and stuff. It's been stories of people like having it and then like not giving it up. Mm-hmm. I was like, I will fuck that bitch up in the mm-hmm. hospital room. Mm-hmm. But I think It'd that's why, I mess. think that's why you, I, we were going through the stages properly. Like we really like researched it. Like I'm talking about months. Like we done looked into this, like yeah. we are wanting to do it. So the way we were going with it, it would have been a success. And if we had somebody, they wanted 50. Mm-hmm. And he was like, with it, and I'm with it. So it was just like, it was going to work. And then we wanted the child to be like both of ours. So we was thinking like of uh, mixing twins. it. But you can mix it? No, you can't mix it. They have to be, if we do it that way, it would have been um, paternal twins. We could have did paternal. And one and one. One egg and one egg. Mm-hmm. But... One of our eggs could have failed, and we wouldn't have known like a defect. who egg it would have been until the birth. It, yeah, and had a um, uh, paternity test. Paternity test. Damn. Yeah. But, so it's a lot. Yeah, no, it it is a lot, and that's what I just been trying to like focus on. Cause like literally, I ain't gonna lie. When me and my boyfriend first got together, like I used to say, like I want to do like the kids and stuff, and he was, that's good though. I think he was like, no. Uh, he wasn't like, no, but he was just like, okay, let's just like, we young. And I'm like. Child, please. I ain't young. Yeah, I'm like, bitch. Okay. So recently, like last year sometime, he, you know, I mentioned it again. And he was like, I'm with it. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, well, shit, let's hurry up. That's and, good. But I was saying, okay, <laughs> I was saying like, you know, I'm doing all of that. You know, trying to, I'm just trying to like prepare my life. So, with the whole Andre thing, it's just like, I think Andre might feel like I'm not a good friend, but he knows I'm a good friend. Like, I'm a a New Yorker. And he's a cancer, so he's very sensitive. Yes, very, very sensitive. I was on his lab one time. And he was he be about, crying like, on there. And I'll be, I'll be texting him, like, bitch, stop going on live fucking crying. Like, you know, but he's just real. And, and that's, that's the real nigga in you. What? Telling him not? Mm-hmm. But I'm, you know, I'm I'm trying to protect him because people see you being vulnerable. They mm-hmm. start feeling like they got one up on mm-hmm. you. Yeah. You know, so, but we had this, like, let me tell you, back in the day, me and Andre used to be beefing. Like, we used to have really? beef. Yeah, like, back in 2016. 20, we, was we, this like a hairstylist beef? It was. That's why we wanted to do a hairstylist segment. With, like, different hairstylists? Yeah. yeah We're going to do Andre next weekend. Because, um... These like upcoming stylists and just stylists in general, they just be thinking they are like, I don't know. But back to Andre, we were beefing and then, you know, we ended up getting cool and like he became a like a really, really good friend. Like 
I almost got to the point where Andre, when I almost looked at him as a best friend, like we are so similar and we're real. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not like, I like how with Andre is not a fake facade. Like when we go places, we fight over who going to pay the bill, which I feel like that's how it always should be. If you got it and your friend got it. Like, I'm like, Andre, what the fuck is going on? And he like hit me up a day later. Like these wigs got me in a chokehold. I'm like, Chaba. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, he is a cancer. He was on live talking about um just like cancer shit. And I just had to tell him about my experience with cancers because my ex was a cancer. Mm-hmm. And it's like I always told myself like I can't I cannot date a cancer. And Andre's sweet. Like even after our video shoot, he sent me flowers, um, my birthday, like he's getting me like, you know, her meds bracelets and stuff. Like he's really sweet. He's very charming. Um, but he, he definitely is like a good. Oh, I'm so, I'm so scared of cancers. Maybe it's like the time of the month. Oh, mm. well, make sure when he come up here, you tell him what I said. Like, I will. I will. Most definitely. Yeah. I Cause will. I want to know like why he was acting like that. I will. Um, I'm gonna ask one too. yeah, we got him next week. Next week we got him. Okay. So. You got your show coming up. You got more products dropping. And what else is on the way? I got some more music, a baby. Let me tell you, since we've been in 2024, I feel like I've had a really good 2024. Me too. And I'm ready to just, like, take a bitch neck and just step on it. Like, I feel like I've been playing it safe lately. For the last couple of years, I ain't going to lie. I've been really playing you it have. safe. You have. You have been playing it it's safe. I've been because I remember I remember like way back when when That's a fake ass bitch. What? Oh that Ooh. is a fake ass bitch and that's a cancer. That's oh, another reason Lord. why I don't I like cancer. Oh tea. my god. So that's it for this episode of Not Crazy Just Misunderstood with Cliff. Peace out, bitches. <laughs>